to my blog, The Art of Overdressing. Now, of course, I'm bringing you some favorites today, but I know you're going to want to know what I'm wearing. So my look of the day starts here with X-Ray Eyewear Sunglasses. These are my latest obsession. This company has the coolest styles, and actually, I have a little treat from X-Ray Eyewear in a little bit. But until then, let's get back to the outfit. This leather jacket is cropped. I actually bought it like this uh, from a thrift store. It's actually Forever 21 brand, but when I bought it, the sleeves were already cut off, which I thought was kind of cool. Somebody had some originality uh, enough. They thought, hey, why not cut the sleeves off? So I should inspire you to take a scissor to some of your own outfits, just not your hair, because that could be disastrous. Okay, so then we've got this awesome tank by Truth Collection. This tank is so cool. I've worn it out for a run. You can dress it up, dress it down. I thought it'd be kind of cool to pair it with these skinny jeans that I have from Forever 21. Um, they are so cheap. I think they're about 10 bucks. They are, you know, skinny jeans. They're stretchy, enough stretch where they feel comfortable. It's not a lot of heavy denim, which is a big reason why I don't like jeans, but these are really great. Also, the shoes are from Massimo. Um, I bought them at a Play-Doh's closet. They look kind of like BB to me and the white uh, kind of snakeskin embossed pattern is cool. There's some gold and black in there, which I echoed from my ring from Forever 21, and of course these earrings that were bought at Plato's Closet too. I love Plato's Closet. So really quick, I want to get into some beauty things that I've been uh, just in love with over the last few months. Sometimes when I find like a, a certain shade of lipstick that I really love, um, I just stick with it and I try to wear it with different outfits. So the first one I want to show you is uh, Revlon Outlast. It is the Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. It is red, the color is Top Tomato, and it's actually Miranda Kerr's favorite uh, shade. What's great about this one is you can wear it with um, a colored gloss that's kind of, that mutes the color, like a light colored gloss. There's one by Tarte called Spirit, and if you layer it over this, it really mutes the color. But if you want to go bold and have a Dita Von Teese moment and just wear it alone or with some uh, either clear or bright red gloss, that's really fun too. That one is around, I want to say around eight or nine bucks, not too bad. And then this one is even cheaper. This is awesome. It's Wet n Wild Mega Last, and this color is Rose to the Occasion, and I actually bought it in a pinch. I was doing an autograph signing, and I had a, a, a dress that was about the same color, and I needed some, some sort of a pop of bright lipstick um, just to match the dress, at least I wanted to. So I popped into a Walgreens, and there it was, and now I'm totally in love with this Wet n Wild Mega Last uh, lipstick, and there's so many different shades. This one is by far my favorite, though. Especially on camera, it's really great because it makes your teeth look whiter, and it's just a nice, flattering shade. Rose to the occasion by Wet n Wild, and of course, the Miranda Kerr Constant Top Tomato from Revlon. Will it make you look like Miranda Kerr? Probably not, but at least you'll feel like her. You know, when you film in Florida, it's, it's like the damn wild kingdom out here. We're trying to film our favorites video for the vlog, and there's freaking Big Bird over there. Isn't that creepy? Oh, it's totally off track. Okay, sorry guys, back to the favorites. I know you guys have written in about trends for spring and summer. I've covered a few of them. I have a blog coming out called Yes Pleats that's about pleated skirts. It's huge on the runways pleats. And of course, spring and summer would not be complete without talking about florals. Now, as you see, um, I've gotten a few pieces uh, recently that have been really, really cool to incorporate and to anchor with kind of more solid colors. Um, I did a blog about this uh, summer floral top um, that I bought in Toronto, Canada, uh, just at a little boutique. What I have to say about florals, though, is I would stay away from a lot of big prints. Uh, the louder the florals, the scarier it can be. If you go towards the smaller floral prints, you're probably a lot safer. It's a lot more flattering on everyone. I wanted to stay within my color palette. My favorite colors to wear are blue and green, uh, especially with red hair, I like those colors on me best. So what I did was do a little touch of it in a scarf here. I got this in Germany years ago, and I love this scarf. Shout out to Arno, by the way, who helped me pick it out. Um, I love wearing it in airports. You can just, you know, simply tie it around. It's very cute. Nice little touch of florals, and the rest of your outfit can be simple. Another thing that I really love about summer is a new scent, and this Prada candy is amazing. It is so nice. It's not the original Prada candy. It's actually Prada candy Le, and it's got hints of white musk and caramel, and it smells really good. It's really sweet, but not entirely sweet where you're going to be overwhelmed. It's just smells very expensive. Obviously, Prada never goes wrong with their fragrances. And by the way, guys, if you're into it, if you love the scent, you're going to love the short film. If you go to Prada.com, the gorgeous French actress Lea Seydoux is in the short film where she plays, of course, candy. So check it out. Beautiful scent, gorgeous packaging, and it's well worth the money. Perfume is certainly not something I would recommend scrimping on, and this is something that you're going to wear every day, and this one is well worth the money. 
Okay guys, I promised you a treat at the end of the video and we have our friends at X-Ray Eyewear to thank for that. These sunglasses are my favorite and I was so lucky to be able to shoot for them in their summer 2014 campaign where you can see these glasses and I was lucky enough to take them home. I was not leaving that shoot without these glasses. They're so awesome, they're very Jackie-o. Uh, they go with everything, especially because I wear so much black and white. Um, and they're big, they're noticeable, they're interesting, and all of the styles are really cool. And because they're awesome, they're giving us a promo code of 15% off of your order. I'm gonna make sure that you guys have the link. And the style number to these as well, in case you wanna get this exact pair, but there's so many to choose from. So thank you to our friends at X-Ray Eyewear, where it's fashion you can afford, but it's still a branded item, and it's something that's gonna get your friends talking because it's really, really a cool brand. So here's all the information that you need to get yourself a pair. Again, 15% off, guys. So tell a friend. All you need to do is use the promo code SoCalVal. If you have any favorites you want me to cover, just use the Ask Val section of the blog. I'll see you next time.